It was the very definition of Northwest comedy. Dave Grohl! For 15 seasons, King Five's Almost Live helped us poke fun at ourselves, serving up comedic classics like Ballard Driving Academy. Please adjust your seatbelt. Okay, good. Linwood Beauty Academy. Wallabies. And the High Five and White Guys. Bellevue Babes, love them! Almost Live changed lives, launching the careers of Bill Nye the Science Guy, Joel McHale, and Oscar-nominated screenwriter Bob Nelson. This stuff is unlikely. One of the show's funniest cast members is Pat Cashman. Nice sweater, Pat. Thank you. Uh, it helps me sweat. He is also one of its biggest fans. We were doing local jokes about local issues, local politics, neighborhoods. That's why I think it found its footing for all those years. Pat was known for writing and performing in some of Almost Live's best-known bits. I know the viewers have their own short list of their favorite sketches. Do you have one for yourself? One was called The Weather with Brian Dixon. We've got some high pressure building here off the coast, a lot of heavy pressure to get Brian Dixon out of here, even though he worked his butt off for the station for seven years. <laughs> one of my favorite bits is the Green River Dance. And that simply came from a viewer that called in and said, Green River Dance. Click. Now he's launched a limited podcast series called Almost Live, Still Alive, featuring in-depth interviews with nearly every person who ever worked on the show. What are they up to now? Or how many of them are in prison? You know, that kind of stuff. The podcast reveals details even some of the staff never knew. I think a lot of people are making stuff up, but <laughs> who cares? Nancy Guppy speaks candidly about long-ago troubles in her marriage to fellow cast member Joe Guppy. The phrase was, in my mind, Pat, was, it's over. Tracy Conway recalls the curtain call moment when her heart literally stopped beating. The first fella that stood up, he was very well trained in CPR. She was clinically dead. Two weeks later, she's back on the show again. And host John Keister remembers the affection of his local audience. I walked out and uh, it was like this eruption. I'm getting choked up here. And then there's this other, like, enormous applause, you know? Oh, that's great. Almost Live, Still Alive is a love letter to a time when Seattle was a little smaller and maybe a little funnier. I don't think any of us took it for granted. So we said, let's really enjoy this ride. And I think everybody did.